Sorry. No Tackle Warehouse Tuesday today. But... You remember the John boat that I've been working on for the last month, month and a half maybe? I'd say it's, it's February, about a month and a half. Not too long, it's done. The John boat's done, and you can probably see it right behind me. I'm pretty proud of it, because I'm not like a handy candy type dude, you know what I mean? Like I don't do saws and hammers and stuff like that. It wasn't that bad, and I learned a lot. It's complete, the John boat is haven't took it out yet actually I have I've only taken it out once twice I've taken it out twice I didn't have the motor on it yet I just got the motor back last week I cranked it up it runs it fires right up all right Shannon what? moment of truth got the motor back on creaker here John boat crank her up inside <laughs> So the motor's fixed. A little five horsepower, Mercury Force. Kind of small for this boat, but you know what? I got it for 300 bucks, so I really can't complain. Let me just show you the ins and outs of this John boat that me and some of my buddies, they helped um, put together. I got this John boat. It looked nothing like this when I first got it. So let's check it out. If you've been following the videos, I put this Minn Kota power drive on, which it's it's okay. Hey, I really like the little remote here. Uh, we talked about that, the remote. You can sit in the back and kind of run it from there. I pretty much got it for nothing. The low profile pedal, I like that because it doesn't, you know, you're not really standing on it. It's, it's kind of like, pretty much like a um, recessed trolling motor pedal because it's so small or whatever. So I added that. Added the uh, trolling motor. I recently added a Humminbird. This is a 997, I think. That's a little bit older uh, depth finder, but it works and it has side imaging and down imaging and 2D and all that good stuff. It's 997. That's a recent ad. I've got the balls out mount on it, which I like. Not bad. These things are kind of. Um, this is the way I do it when I'm when I'm traveling, you know what I'm saying? But these little things are kind of like gears in there that are locked in and when, when you tighten this down, you cannot move this. All my wires right now here, it's kind of sloppy, but I really don't know what to do with it yet. But y'all figure it out, transducer wire. Now I kind of had to rig this up a little bit. This is, uh, this is not right with a transducer, but you know what I'm saying, it's a John boat. I just put like a, um, I put a, a pipe clamp on this and I've got the side scan transducer on it. It's, uh, it works, I think. I haven't taken it out yet, let's see. You've seen the deck right here. I did a video on it from start to finish. The deck, uh, it's half inch plyboard sealed with uh, Thompson's water seal, whatever. I don't do aluminum, I can barely do wood. And then I added this nice little missile baits carpet decal on there just to kind of, cause you don't want to slip. You know, if it gets wet, you don't want to slip and fall. Made this lid. There's my little uh, orange life jacket. I've got some rod gloves in there. Some TH Marine LED lights that I'm going to light this bad boy up pretty soon. Rod strap right there. That's from TH Marine as well. So that's kind of the front of the boat. And I'm going to eventually end up closing this in. I'm probably going to cut this and this. Carpet that side and that side maybe put some speakers in there, radio, and I'll have that centerpiece for storage. You've got the floor, as you can see. Actually, me and Andy put this floor in. Pretty solid. Half inch insulation board, foam board, whatever. Kind of go up underneath it. I'm probably gonna end up running up the board up to here. Just kind of cover that up. Right here, I haven't done much with. Kind of re-ran some wires, reconfigured some stuff. But, you know, when I get more time, I'll totally redo all that as well. Also, I put this Hummingbird 798 back here. 2D. That's all I need. 2D. Back here. Most of my time is going to be spent right up there. I got this Mercury Force motor that uh, I had to put in the shop for about a week, two weeks, because the carburetor was jailed up where it hasn't ran. 
And right now it works pretty good. I don't know how good it's going to push this John boat. It shouldn't be too bad. It's 5 horsepower, 4.9 more horsepower, and I have a 9.9. But you know what? It works. It works. Right here is my gas can, which that came with the boat, I think. Yeah. And I've got an Odyssey battery right here for the back end. It's running my graphs and my trolling motor because that's a 12 volt trolling motor. And that has done great so far because I haven't had a big motor to run it. So that's pretty much all I need for now. Here's like my, here's a compartment in here. I'll end up, this is gonna be another project. My, probably my next project, I'll end up rerunning or kind of organizing all these wires down here because this is a total mess. I will get to it when I get more time. I'll put probably a new breaker in there, panel switch, all that stuff, and kind of organize all the wires. So that's pretty good for storage. I'll probably have them wires tucked away somewhere where I can use this more for like uh, tackle boxes and you know stuff like that. So that's that side. This side right here is a live wheel, as you can see. It's a handmade live wheel. Right now I've just kind of got my dry box in here. I've got some rope, this and that. The bilge pump actually works, and the sump or whatever the live well pump works as well. But I'm not going to use it just yet. I don't know how many tournaments I'm actually going to fish out of this boat. So, yeah, that's pretty much the boat. It's complete, done. You know, some little stuff that I need to do. But as far as like putting it out on the water, it's ready to go. Trolling motor, big motor, graphs on the front and the back put these new trailer lights on it new trailer lights on it I just put them on uh, last week they're really bright my buddy Logan helped me out running the wires and doing it I got this I got the uh, trailer wire kit on Amazon for $32 and they are really bright and it comes with the wire it comes with the nuts the crimps the bolts the whatevers that running light is really bright as well it's hooked up to the signal, so when you turn, I think it blinks. Whatever, maybe it doesn't. Wheels and tires, I uh, got these offline for $200 for both of them. They're radials, it's a four lug, so I got them put on. That's an easy install, no problem. Bass Pro Shop with some gift cards that I got, because uh, the other one was kind of rusty, whatever. Probably, you know, I'm gonna paint this trailer and I will tag Brian Stockel, the carpenter, because he loves my paint videos. But that's pretty much a that's pretty much the uh, the Alumacraft, and it's ready to rock, ready to rock and roll, ready to go fishing. I'm got a live well, mm, and just like little odds and ends, you know, maybe some latches I'm gonna change out. Um, you know, the wiring deal is going to be a big project where I'm going to, you know, do like the panel and then like the, you know, probably a fuse box and this and that and organize all them wires, waterproof connectors, that's key. Other than that, it's ready to rock and roll and I'm really proud of it. I do know that it floats because I have taken it out, like I said earlier, without the big motor because it was in the shop. But I can't wait to go out maybe tomorrow and fish with a fully rigged Alumacraft 1648 John Boat. That was built by me by my hands every every bit of it so please like and subscribe if you like this video and keep it classy